when I was a little girl, I had this just, this obsession with, it's still, it's, I can't even, with John, uh, with John F. Kennedy. Oh, just, yeah, I, Jack I Kennedy. wanted, and his wife, yeah. Jacqueline, they, yes. because they represented everything that was class. Uh -huh. yeah. And they really did. I, I wanted, I just thought, what, what is that? Like, I wanted that, it's just, yeah. and so, I mean, I even, my first dolly, it was like, my first dolly I ever had was like, it's John, because this was my baby. And I was like, I'm gonna, I kept telling my brothers and my sister, I was, I'm gonna marry John. And they're like, he's dead. <laughs> Sorry. And I was like, I won't hear it. I won't hear of it. <laughs> but I was, if I ever have children, I'm going to name Jack, even if it's a girl. I was so, so then I married my husband, who is, his family's from Mexico. And so the J is silent. So when, <gasps> When we decided that we got married, <laughs> when we got married, I said, and we had a child, I said, this is the deal. If we have a girl, you name her. If I have a boy, I get to name him after John F. Kennedy. And he said, it's a deal, because he was so convinced it was a girl. He was so convinced. We did one room blue, one room pink. Oh, the cute. big room was pink, pink carpet, pink walls. The small room was blue, because you know, all the furniture was in the pink room. He was so convinced because we, we didn't want to find out until we had our child. That's good. The, my, the first words were that my husband said when my son was born and I was going through all these traumas was, Mama, you have a son. And I, re and I was like, that's my Jack. Yep. My, my son is just so obsessed with presidents of the United States that he can tell you on every bill what cool. it is. Instead of saying, do you have a 20, he'll be like, do you have an Andrew Jackson? Like, he does, and like, when, he when, take some, him Rush when yes. something's like surprising to him, he'll say, he's, he'll be like, he'll, he'll say, oh, for the, like, um, what does he say, um, um, oh, the mother of Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> it's so funny, so everything, you know, like even me leaving, leaving for the plane the night before, everything was, mommy, who is the oldest president? And he wants to see if I know, and I'm like, <laughs> and he's seven? Yes, and he'll say, who is the youngest? And I'd be like, you know the youngest because you're named after him, you know? But the oldest, and he's like, it's Ronald Reagan. So he just, he loves it. I love he even went to like his Halloween dance as a wise guy. Um, like, I saw your picture of yeah, his little mustache. Yes. That was so cute. He, he wanted to just be a wise guy. So he gets to, to hit the party at, at school and it's, you know, 200 students and all the kids are like, what are you, Jack? Because it's really, I know, and he's I like, know. he goes, I'm just a wise guy. <laughs> was so great. And they're like, what's that? <laughs> and this year he was Tom Cruise from Top Gun. Oh. And so and nobody knew what that was no. either. Because he's, in, he's really an old He's an old so movies, Right, yeah. and so he's like, I'm Tom Cruise in Top Gun. And they're like, you can't bring a gun to school. <laughs> I just want to take dance, and I said, yeah, but he loves that. He said, oh, he says, every day, you know, he loves music videos, and he always like, say, who is is your is your favorite pop singer, mom, like today? And it's all '80s, so he only really knows the '80s. Yeah. <laughs> so like, no, it's so bad. And like, I mean, can I make a confession? His teacher did call me the other day and say, okay, she said I had to laugh in the corner. She said because I didn't want any, teacher, any of the students to see me, but. Did bust out fat bottom girls. <laughs> <laughs> Queen. Oh my god. I'm saying Jack. I'm in bed and, and there's a bathroom connected to my bedroom. And he said, Mommy, can I wash up for bed up here tonight? And I said, Okay. And he said, Can I listen to your, your tablet? So I had it in the bathroom and I'm thinking, it's taking him the longest time in there and I can hear Michael Jackson playing. <laughs> and he loves, loves Michael Jackson. So I came out of bed and I've got my IV pole and everything come around the corner and I just with my phone without him knowing here he is with this his red wise guy hat doing Michael Jackson in the mirror and he has no idea so I, I will show you that clip it's so funny because he doesn't know that he's being watched and it's just so funny so he has all this energy and he loves to dance and I'm close to the but he loves to dance and he's, he loves to be a performer. But with me, as soon as he enters a room and if, if I'm there, his voice gets very gentle mm -hmm. and quiet. And 
he touches me in very gentle ways and he likes to rub on me and he, I, in my freckles he loves to call mommy has ain't mommy you have this many angel kisses today mm -hmm. so I think he just becomes just soft and that even that young boy who you know kids are very anxious in hospitals and things like that he doesn't if alarms are going off in my room because of heart rage or anything like that it's he you can yeah there's no change in his facial expression or anything he, it's like it's completely shut off he hears nothing but my voice it's mm. it's like i can't even explain it but i'm glad you could see some of that in a photo because that is 10 times that mm -hmm. in real life No one would take photos of Jack and I in the hospital with my family because that can't be real to them. That's so. But nurses would see this and they'd literally go in the hall and lose it. It's fancy. This has to be seen. And would, I don't think they wanted Jack to remember me like that, but that was because they didn't remember me like that. That was all Jack knew. Mm -hmm. And none of it is like, do this or do that. They're, these are the most. Every picture, that is our, that's the only moments we have. There is no, oh, I caught the moment. That was the, the moment the entire visit, or that was the, that's it. We're, that's it. That's, that's our relationship. Just he, there's something about him that God can pick this baby, this boy. Perfect to wait on our cameras like I. Didn't you know he was always yours? He was always, yeah. and he's such, he's a piece of me. You, he has my exact laugh. He has, I mean, my sense of humor, cool. all of those things. They're, they're just, they're so exact that instead of people commenting on, like, you look like her, they'll say, that's your mama. Yeah. Like, I just saw your mama in you. That's so He, he knows the story. I share all of those things with him, and he loves mm -hmm. when mommy was a little girl story. Yeah. He always wants to know about them. So, when Jack knows of Miss Gretchen, he she's because that's I've always shared with him uh, the story of Miss Gretchen. So that's not someone new to him. Yes, he's never met her, and I've never met her. But to him, she was, she, and he he always says. Mommy, Miss Gretchen's a queen. He knows she's a queen. I'm like, he totally gets it. <laughs> but he's so great. He totally goes back to showing him how to live. You know, he loves go after what you love. And he just loved the fact that I was doing this. And it was, and he doesn't, he hates if, if I have to go and he wants to know, Mommy, he wants to know how long because he, he worries. And, and and said it was like, even today on the phone, he was like, hello, Miss Gretchen. Aww. Just, and he's was he the thing is he's seven and most seven year olds would be my mommy's leaving on a plane but it's like I felt he was so happy for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was so happy for me. And that's I don't even know he's supposed to be capable of that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> because at seven we think about we're supposed to only think of ourselves. Instead yeah. it was just yeah, but I will confess, he, he's looking he's looking at his little iPod, hello, Miss Gretchen, and one eyeball's going over here because he's watching Phineas and, and Ferb. I love you, too. <laughs> he goes, and Phineas and Ferb, Phineas and Ferb, Phineas and Ferb. Hello, Miss Gretchen, I love you to the moon and back, and Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> he just wanted to know, like, so, Mommy, in heaven, is that, like, when you love me past the moon? Oh. Like, is it past the moon? Like, he knows it's up in the, he knows it's high. So everything's about the moon. So he always sings, if he says, Mommy, can you see the moon? And if I can't from the hospital bed, then he'll he'll sing it to me. And he'll say, I can see the moon. Oh. And then he'll sing, it's amore. Oh, and then, oh. He sings, and then and we get to the part that the bells will ring. And then it's so great. Mommy guilt. Yeah. Everybody has it no. for every little thing. But I always feel like because now 
now he's seven and very aware of what's happening with his friends and his their moms are, you know, pulling up to school and doing these things. And he's aware, starting to become aware of something's different with my mom because he didn't know any different. But now yeah. he's like, there's something different about my mom. So he's starting to add just now, just starting to ask questions. And I want, I'm, I'm afraid I, I have cut him short of those memories. No, no, not at all. You know, I, I don't go, I can't go to his soccer practices and sit there and do that. Um, but so I've been writing letters to him, Good. explaining how he saved me. Mm -hmm, he saved yeah. my life because in those moments, it would have been so easy to say. Okay, God, you can have me now. Mm -hmm. When I heard that baby, mm -hmm. I mean, that saved me. That's when I dug to a place I didn't know existed. I pulled things out that I didn't know were there. I mean, I, had, I in that moment, was blessed with that mom strength, mm -hmm. which is beyond. Yeah. Me. It's, it's, it's it supernatural. Powerful, it's yeah. not real. It's, Mama it's, Bear. It's yeah. unbelievable. So I was able to pull that out and fight for him. Mm -hmm. So I would have been gone if, some, God forbid, if he would have been okay in those right. moments. Yeah. I wouldn't be here in this moment. Mm -hmm. He he saved me. I want him to know in all of those messages that, that that moment didn't take my life, that it gave me life.